I want people to understand what, you know, the purpose of cannabis really is. And I want people to understand that I got into the cannabis industry to really educate people about the benefits regarding cannabis uh, as medication and regarding the benefits of cannabis ailments or like, you know, the benefits that cannabis has with different ailments. And that's why it's called the Cannabis Coloring Book. Very cool. That's I love why, it. yeah. It's just not not just coloring. It's more. It's a lot more than that, for sure. It's a lot more than that. Yeah. It's not the stoner coloring book. Not the 420 cool coloring book. It's not. You know what I mean? And none of those titles. It's the official, the cannabis coloring book. And it's because it's all of my original drawings of cannabis. You have full plant drawings. You don't have just a leaf. You have full plant drawings in my book. I don't know. I yeah. We're one thing we were hoping for too, and if it's at all possible, yeah. is to see if we can get see you, like you coloring, showing us yeah. how to color your coloring book. I would love that. I'm gonna start with a dark purple or like a dark purple. Okay. Okay. I'll start with this right here, and I'm just gonna start with the uh, outline back, like an outline, like a hard outline, and then I do a more softer approach as I uh, color it a little bit more in. But I try to do a hard out outline on one side of the leaf. So that way I give it, uh, you know what I mean? Like that type of uh, boldness, nice. in other words, okay? So you could do that to a few of the leaves that you got going on there. Just add a color outline up to you how you want to do it. Again, you're the artist. Different people color different types of ways. And uh, that's why I even have a graphic artist that does all of the coloring and for me because he knows shady and he's really good at that approach as well too. So Very you can cool. go ahead and uh, start with whatever you feel comfortable doing. All right, I'm doing flower power. Doing flower those, right power. Away. And it's intense. Uh, keep it green, you know what I mean? Bring the yeah. greens out in the middle um, and then, then start doing other colors like Maybe like a rainbow. I don't know. Again, up to you. This is the thing I tell people. Like, you're the artist when it comes to cannabis because I've seen cannabis in every color. Yeah. I've seen cannabis almost look like the rainbow. Really. I mean, like, it's so fluorescent and just beautiful in different shades with, you know, different lights. So, you know, you go ahead and use your imagination. <laughs> That's, I, I, yeah, I, I definitely agree. I like, I like the idea of the rainbow and plus, like, your your jewelry, I like how it's all different colors. It's not just greens and everything. It's a whole, it's many different colors. So I'm gonna do the uh, purple uh, outline and then I'm gonna take a pink and I'm gonna start cutting a little bit of pink into it, into one side of the leaf. Just wanna do one side for now. You know where I put the purple in. So I'm gonna start putting the purple and pink in there. So I just uh, switched it over to doing like a green down the like very middle, like to mix my colors and just do different variations. So I'm doing like a green right down the middle as well too. Uh, I very much look forward to doing so many more volumes and so much more in uh, the aspect of my art or putting my art in, on more things. Like I said, the dab tools. I really want to do that as well too. Dab tools, people love dab tools, or people always use dab tools, so dab tools it is. Right. Yeah, I always want to do that. Sticker machine, you should mm -hmm. do that. Put it right next to the gumball machine. Gumball machine, there's gumball machines at dispensaries. <laughs> oh, that's true, I didn't, I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna go ahead and put one through, and that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. No, um, you need it for cotton mouth, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, believe that for sure. Yeah. I don't know where I want to go with next. I'm like, I'm not going to be that person that chooses one color. I'm like, I should have chose another color. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see, let me see. Mm, yeah, I think I'm, I am going to do that blue. So I'm going to do like this aquamarine blue. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's an aquamarine blue, definitely. I have it. It looks like a rainbow. Look, and lines look like a rainbow too. I love it. <laughs> let me see what you got going on. Nice, there you go. I like that. Mm -hmm. See, like, everybody has a different vision when it comes to how they uh, see the plant going or the colors that they would envision into the plant. Um, I've seen people do some very creative uh, renderings or renditions of my uh, artwork. 
And it's great to see that, like, where people's imaginations go. Right. So just seeing what people could do now, like on TikTok, you're just like, wow, that's creative. I would never thought of about that. I wanted to try this one that was like dotting, and then you take like a wedgie and uh, a squeegee, and then you just like pull it down the um, canvas, and it comes out looking like a whole uh, interesting piece of art. And I also wanted to try the acrylic stuff, like, you know, people doing the um, proxy or acrylic stuff, acrylic proxy, how they make the ashtrays and, you know, different types of uh, trays. Mm -hmm. I never even tried that before. And I just see people, you know, mixing different medias or doing things with different medias and it makes you, you know, curious or you want to be creative with it. It's right. awesome. So many different types of ideas that flow through artists and you know everybody could be an artist you could be your own type of artist you know you could think of different things that nobody would consider art until you made it you know um, so go ahead and get creative I tell people you know creativity is like something that frees your mind and makes you feel so good about yourself when you're creative as well too you'll be here for a bit you've been my own I'm so right. proud of myself. I'm so proud. <laughs> For real. Oh no. Watch when you're dying and be like, oh my god, that's so pretty. <laughs> no, it's awesome. And I can't, I, just, I don't think I'll be able to finish it while we're on air, but like, I know, because it's a lot. I'm yeah. telling you. Right. But you're going to be, you're going to be very, uh, you know, intrigued of, uh, you know, how something just like a stencil, you know, brings so much life to a uh, piece of art. Like, you wouldn't see it so full until you actually color it in. I don't give up on your dreams. Coloring that coloring book, you might grow up to be a color at a studio one day, kids. <laughs> That's a good job. That uh, is amazing. You just follow your dreams, you know, if even that means that you want to be an artist. Oh. Being an artist, it's just, it's relieving, it's freeing. There's so many great artists in this world. Um, and it starts by having the support of the people all around you, really, you know? Right. I had a community that really supported me when I first started, and um, it really helps when you have friends that could dream just like you could, you know? So surround, with, surround yourself with like-minded individuals, really. So where is your next stop after Longmont? After this, gotta go up to Native Roots. Uh, and that's from 6 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be tonight at uh, their location. Uh -huh. so you just choose a color and just go with it. Right. I love about coloring. Just go ahead and do what you want, whatever your heart feels. Mm -hmm. Something orange, maybe. Are you doing art any, anywhere else? Um, as far as Colorado goes, no. I'm just uh, I'm going ahead and putting kind of a pause on a lot of things this year with my art. Just mm -hmm. going ahead and rolling out um, whatever I do have in inventory mm -hmm. because I plan on doing a whole rebrand completely. Next year, I really want to um, come back with Kush Style Fashion, with, which is my clothing line. Mm -hmm. And that, um, I want to buy a DTG printer. So, um, I plan to really work on that before I hit up any shows on the road and I do the, uh, the end of the Cannabis Coloring Book Tour. Because I want to do an actual uh, city to city, all medical states, with uh, you know different sponsors throughout the United States as well too. Mm -hmm. That way, I'll be able to uh, you know visit all the major um, cannabis legal states. Are you trying to blend on there now? I am doing. I I don't know. It's just so so funny what I tend to do. I just go with whatever. Like I'm inspired by. It. But yeah, I mean, you just go ahead and. Um, you know, just choose different colors. I like to do like an outline 
I like to do it in layers, so I'll do like purple or a blue on the outside and then mm -hmm. I'll do a green on the inside. Some pink as well too and I just go ahead and hit it with the gold as well too over it. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's, yeah, it's a little bit of blending. I don't have a blending tool though, like a stumping blending tool which right. actually would make it blend so much better, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, we can do that now. Okay. All right, everybody. Okay. This is what we've been working on. You can see what we have here. Hopefully, yeah. There's so many cameras to choose from. I don't know which one to this show one, that. This yep. one. This <laughs> one. Yeah, everybody. Everybody, look at this one. Camera A, <laughs> camera B, camera C. All of them. This one. D the camera. F. This yes. camera back here. <laughs> um, it's a, I love what I did here, but I, you know, like you were saying, blending. Yeah. I was, Color blending. Even my niece sometimes tells me, "Look, Auntie, I'm color blending." And my brother was like, "You're showing her how to color in the cannabis coloring." But I'm like, "I'm showing her how to color." Okay. So the fundamental thing about coloring is that you know it frees your mind. It makes you you know feel creative as well too. And I really you know suggested um, it's all about plants and um, my coloring book. That's all you'll find. You'll yeah. find nothing but plants. I like what you did there. I like Thanks. some neon stuff. He was going into some neon raving kind of. <laughs> I like it. It's different. Came okay, more like into it. psychedelics. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I actually did psychedelics and I did color in one of one of my favorite ones. One of my friends was like, wow, that looks amazing. I'm like, I don't know what it is. But right now my mind feels like a psych machine. And mm. it just it colored some of the best, the best coloring that I've ever done. So there it is. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I would like to thank Native Roots again thank you. for, for uh, putting on this event and um, and thank everyone everyone here at Lama Public Media thank and you. also people from Tinker Mill too for coming mm -hmm. in today and uh, just everyone for watching um, and stopping the people who stopped by today. Um, if you want to learn more about Marie Ray, where can they find out more about the Cannabis Coloring Book? For sure, you can find out more about the Cannabis Coloring Book if you go on to my Etsy shop. You go ahead and go on to Pretty Stony. That's P R E T T Y S T O N E Y. Pretty Stony. Dot Etsy. Dot com. And on my Etsy shop, you'll find 550 items to choose from. Um, you have stickers, you have jewelry, necklaces, earrings, you have pins, posters, magnets, the Cannabis Coloring Book Volume 1 and Volume 2, some digital artwork as well, too some original artwork as well too. And I want to thank you, Long Mom Public Media, and thank Native Roots as well too. Thank you so much for sponsoring this and for bringing me out and for allowing people to see my work and enjoy what I do. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. And if you want to learn more about Long Mom Public Media, you can go to longmompublicmedia.org or we're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 a.m. or 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, stop by, use our studios, use our equipment, and um, someone is here will be happy to give you a tour. Thank you so much. Awesome. Take care. Thank you. Bye.